Hello, ladies and gentlemen. How you doing today? This is Papa Bell, and welcome to the channel. Let's take a look at the oil paint that's drying on the top of this thing. I think spinning it actually helps a little bit. Looks pretty cool. We did this a few nights ago. All right, so this is a nine magnet rotor that's nine inches in diameter. Uh, this is our drive coil. We only have one right now, uh, one drive coil with our iron filing core. That's a bunch of iron filings in there. Um, filled all the way to the top, about 98% full. 99, 99% full because I, I, there is a little bit of space where I could close the cap just a little bit so that I could tape it shut. All right, so we got our drive coil with the core. It's four gauge, um, four strands of 26 gauge, 215 turns. And then there's a 32 gauge strand embedded in there that can be used as a trigger strand. But right now I've, I've manipulated it into the drives. There's five drive strands right now because we have the external trigger coil, which in my opinion works so much better. So you lose the space on the rotor wheel. It's, it's a good trade off in my mind. Uh, we have the oscilloscope slash multimeter it's hooked up to this big coil right here. We have a light hooked up to this coil right here. And all right, let's get going. That's the whole setup. You got your drive. Now I'm going to see if we can't get up to like two and we're, I'm not going to up the, the voltage any. We're at six volts, almost seven volts in. We're at 1.1 amps in right now. We're trying to get to 200 AC volts. Again, the, the meter is hooked up to this big coil right here. So I'm going to hit the scope button we're getting like 472 spikes 488 87 you know it's it's fluctuating around 450 500 uh, north to south And then um, we got about 135 hertz, 136, 37. So that's going up too. All right, we're gonna, let's flop it and see what we're working with. 179, 180, 181. Will it reach 200? I, I don't know. I think it will. And then I'm gonna, I'm gonna turn on the light at 200. Nope, we're gonna slow it down. I sense a problem that that coil is too close and when it gets going it's going to vibrate on the top and it's, that, it's too close so we're going to cut it back. I could hear it start the vibration I was touching the table the vibration started to become quite different a little bit more pronounced.
So all I gotta do is back that coil up. Be right back. We're back, and I, I moved it a little tiny bit. It's still really close. That was good. I feel like the magnetism in the coil is extremely strong right now. And it's gonna pull off if I like get it going much faster. Cause it's the coil that's bouncing. That look at that, that's a bright. You can definitely hear a change in the frequency. <clears throat> but that will continue to spin, I guarantee it. see if that'll level out and if it does we're good we're at 90 volts right now kind of nervous that would be really weird Kind of sounds like it's leveling off. It's going down slower. We're at 80 volts. That's the voltage being generated by this coil at the current time. 81 volts. Okay, we're going back up. 81 volts. Perfect. That's awesome. Exactly like I thought it would be. There it is. And then at this point, I don't see there being anything that will prevent it from continuing to increase in speed. Except for the uh, lack of potential. So it's tied directly into input, pretty much. I mean, it's... And like, I, I think everything is actually input related. Because... You know, everybody keeps telling me you, if you put this much in, that much should come out. And I'm, I, I keep on trying to fathom if that's like how it is. I mean, it's how it is. If there's no loss, then what you put in, you get out. If there's no loss, but there is loss. There's lots of loss. There's loss happening everywhere. See, look. 78 loss is a thing man loss is real loss occurs and therefore I mean if you if you get unity 
show me. I want to see it. I mean, it's probably out there, and I just don't know what it's called, so I can't look it up. But if you get, like, true unity, show me what it is. And I, I, I'm really interested in that. Uh, over unity? I don't know about over unity. Just a second. 